morning slash uh, good afternoon and welcome your faces back to a brand new video my name's Cameron I'm a cyclist and I try and film my life <laughs> who's texted me as I was saying I try and film my life and post it on the internet every single day and right now today I need a shave but I'm about to go on my bike so that's gonna have to wait until later on this afternoon first things first actually first first things first. I headed over to Monica's house this morning, dropped her back off at hers, um, so I'm back home alone. She's home now until the weekend uh, before we go back racing again together. But anyway, first things first. The bike is still in race mode, still got my number on, and I've still got some race wheels in from last night up in Newcastle. So right now, first things first, we need to stick the training wheels back on the race bike. As cool as it looks, as fast as it'll be with the race wheels on, I'm just not allowed to train on these, I guess, and if I puncture them, then I'm gonna be in trouble, so training wheels on the bike now. Got a little bit of a situation on our hands. Just got this notification, this is low battery in the power meter. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Luckily today though, I'm not doing a power-based session, so if it does run out, it don't really matter, you know? So I'm just tapping along. But whilst I remember, whilst it's at the forefront of my mind, Guys, for the next few weeks, whilst the Tour de France is on, I'm gonna be dropping the vlogs at 5 p.m. as opposed to 4, 4 p.m., so just one hour later than the usual time. The reason is because the Tour de France finishes at about 4.30 over here in the UK. So when the vlog drops, a lot of people are gonna be watching the tour, and that means not a lot of people are gonna be watching the vlog in that first hour. And the way that you the YouTube, whoa, easy tiger, let's zoom out of there. I did not realize I was doing that, but anyway. The way the YouTube algorithms work, it's most important that like, the views, the first hour views of the video, kind of determine how YouTube pushes the vlog and how it like how it pushes it in the suggested feeds and stuff. So that first, the views in that first hour are always really important. So because of the Tour de France, intervening, intervening with my vlogging schedule, I'm gonna push them back an hour until 5 p.m. But now that little announcement has been done and dusted, back on topic, it's a pretty late start to my day today in terms of my riding and also the vlog because well, there's two reasons. The first reason, I had to drive Monica home. That took about an hour and a half round trip. The second reason is because I've been on, on like meeting conference calls and stuff then this, this morning because we're making some plans for the next few weeks. Can't tell you exactly what I'm doing just yet, but there's a big race on in France. If that's gonna give anything away, I don't know. Um, so yeah, making some plans for the next few weeks. The vlogs are gonna be pretty, pretty lit. Stay tuned for that. And also, I, normally I hate going out late and like wasting, kind of wasting my day and not riding first thing in the morning, but today it was raining all morning and now it's sunny, so winds all round. Just on a little bit of a solar mission this morning. The weather's pretty good now. It's a little bit windy, but I mean, hey, at least it's not, it's not wet like those puddles suggested. So after the travel on a late night last night, I'm also racing again tonight this evening. The CVR Cade League on the turbo trainer that you've heard me bang on about for the past few weeks. It's the final round of the, uh, it's the final round of this five week league that I've been taking part of. So that's what I'm gonna be doing tonight. So this morning, we're doing a little bit of a split day. My schedule, my training piece schedule today says to do a two hour session in the morning. But just given the last, you know, yesterday being a late night and my late start to the day today, I might cut that down to about an hour and a half, depending on how I feel. You hate to see it. Train, train is coming. Come on, buddy, get your foot down. That's it, come on, let's go. Go on, fast up, and go. And go, go, open. Well, hey, as if by magic. It's a little stop on my ride. Uh, we've done 20 minutes, headed out into the lanes today. The coast is that way, uh, nice little headwind out, so it should be a nice, sweet, fast tailwind home. But I mean, I never get bored of these roads. It kind of reminds me of Belgium, just like fields, random houses in the middle of nowhere, and little lanes. Oh, and finally crosswind. A lot of crosswind in Belgium, but um, I mean, as far as afternoons go, I think mine's going pretty well. Maybe I head that way because that's where the blue sky is. That way looks a little bit, yeah, don't know. Happy, sad, sun, rain. Going that way. So I've just been tapping it out. Not a whole lot to report on. Headed towards the coast before making a loop round and returning back towards my, uh, to, to where I live. Trying to scout out the good roads, keeping away from main roads. Uh, but I made, one fundamental error today 
it's about 20, 21 degrees, and I really, really, really should have worn a mesh base layer. I've got this like black, thick black one on. I mean, it's still a short sleeve, but it's not doing bits for the old wind ventilation, I can tell you that for free. But the main thing today is like the humidity. I mean, the sun's in and out. There's quite a lot of cloud cover, but even like without the sun out, it's that humid, it's still nice and warm. I mean, it's great. It's not like the humor's not that bad. And don't get me wrong, I much prefer this than anything else, but yeah, that's the situation. Felt a bit dead to the, like towards the start. And uh, as I've ridden into it, I progressively got better and better. And this route that I'm taking is about, it's probably gonna take me up to about an hour 40. And I kind of want to just do another 20 and make it up to, the, up to the two. But I also know that tonight's gonna be real hard, so despite the legs feeling good now, they're probably not gonna be feeling good in about four hours time. And one hour 40, that'll do. I was about to just YOLO and do the full two hours, but then I realized that it's half past three and I've not yet edited my vlogs. So it's not gonna be up by four o'clock, it's gonna be late. If anyone wants a job and wants me to help me edit my videos, send me a DM on Instagram, please help me. Why have you got a massage ball as a ball? That's not a tennis ball, you know. Drop it, drop it. That's spiky, does that not hurt your mouth when you bite it? You crazy little dog. All right, so this is my view this afternoon. Currently editing the vlog. Lexi, Lexi, she was asleep. I think I just woke you up and I'm sorry if I have done. Got the tour on the TV, of course. Um, just watching it right now and I wanted to have a little bit of an input about the tour this year. If you haven't seen the route or you've not been keeping up with the tour, basically they've, they've, they've added some like, well they've added a big GC day on like day, I don't know what day are we on, five? Maybe day five? Honestly, that is a little bit of a guess. We're, we're on a, around day five and they've added a GC day that finishes on top of the mountain. Uh, and I think that it's great like that they've done that this year. Normally, the bigger days only come like in the second week and also the third week. But I think to mix up the GC in that first week is a pretty good addition just because I think it's going to force teams to be a bit more offensive, especially in the middle portion of the race. And it might take some of that tedious out on like the, the flatter days and the medium days. If teams are having to fight for time, uh, on more days than like they normally would do, if that kind of makes sense. On the contrary though, it might make the racing a little bit more stagnant later on if everyone's like gassed out from doing big efforts in the first week of the tour. You know, by the third week, everyone might be knackered. Uh, so no one's able to do like these big heroic rides. I don't know, I think it's gonna be an interesting tour. There's 1.2K to go right now, so I'm gonna put the camera down and watch the finish. Hashtag Freelander. Go on, boy. Go on, boy. Orange socks. Don't at me. So my turbo setup, right, is in my office. And for those of you that don't know, this is the stairwell that I've got to get my bike up every Thursday. Are you ready? You're probably thinking to yourself, Cameron, why don't you just put your turbo trainer setup somewhere else? And you're absolutely right. Why don't I just do that? But no, I decided to make this as hard as possibly can. Every week. I've had to repaint this wall like three times now and uh, Yep, you hate to see it. We go again. There's something a little bit, I don't know, weird, I guess, or kind of, it just feels a little bit weird setting up like the turbo trainer to do turbo racing, to sit on my bike inside in the summer when the weather's like this outside. There's something a little bit, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Don't get me wrong, I'm loving it. I'm really thankful and kind of almost feel honored that I got asked to be part of this uh, this new league with CV Arcade. But I don't know, part of me can't help myself but think like, turbo trainers, e-racing is for the winter, riding outside is for the summer. But either way, tonight's round five, the final round, and we're gonna get it done. This is my racing attire this evening. Got the old bandana on and a pair of sunnies. We've always got to play up to the live stream, haven't we? I mean, it's only, it's only right. Five races ahead of us tonight. The first one starts in about 10 minutes time. See you in a bit. Down, Cameron is not panicking. Everybody else has made numerous mistakes and with a hundred meters to go, one more turn. Cameron Jeffers will be happy with that, taking the first race of the evening. The stage win goes to Frank Garcia, but Cameron Jeffers takes this further down. Bet Laverick was Ouch, that hurt. So even though I raced on uh, the like the app on CVR, I still had my Wahoo running to get all my stats and it ended up being one hour 40 of riding and um, we had a normalized power for that one hour 40 of 305 watts. So that was pretty, uh, pretty intense, a max heart rate of 198, man. So this is, this is serious stuff, this is serious training. Um, quick little kind of two second review on um, like the whole league that we just I've just taken part in. If I was to give some advice and some comments on the future and how I want this event to run in the future, I would say like cap it at like maximum one hour 30. 
you know, especially seven o'clock at night, racing for two hours on a turbo trainer is, it's a very long time to race a turbo trainer. And I think like one hour 30 is kind of the sweet spot to, to be able to like go hard in each of the races and not sort of fatigue too much that you're having to back off for some of the races and you can kind of go full gas in like all five of the races. So that was a fun seven weeks. Uh, I think as a team, the boys won like three grand, maybe even more, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, as, as I promised, as I decided at the start of the league, I was going to give the whole thing, the whole prize money uh, to my two teammates. We're in teams with three for this series, so the money is theirs. kind of feel a little bit silly that I offered to give all of my prize money away because we won a lot of money and that would have been nice. But anyway, anyway, job done. Now we can focus on racing our bikes outside. And as quick as that, I've had a quick little shower uh, and before it gets too dark, I'm out walking the dogs. Do you mind? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to vlog here. Before the sun sets, before it gets dark, it's like 9.45 right now. We're out walking these little two absolute gadgets just to end the day, you know, to stretch the legs and all of that good stuff. Feeling pretty cooked after that racing, but honestly, I'm looking forward to spending just a few days at home now, um, kind of getting back into a normal, a bit of a normal routine with, with training and everything uh, and recovering, you know, traveling all the time, being in different places and racing in different places and all the travel between that it really does, you know, take, take it out of you both physically and mentally. So I'm looking forward to just spending a few days at home, back into a normal routine, walking the dogs. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. There are some goats there in the background. Yeah, <laughs> that's so random. I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. Peace! And I'll give you all